Hey, so as of mid-December 2014, I've been having some trouble with MSN stock quotes importing into Excel. So I've developed this little runaround that works pretty well. I actually like it better. It's a little bit more customizable. So it requires a little bit of basic scripting. You don't really have to know what you're doing if you just follow along. You might even learn some scripting along the way. So basically what this does is it pulls quotes down from Yahoo and creates a quotes text file that we then import into Excel. So we're going to start off by writing the script that creates the quotes text file. So what we want to do is we want to go to our applications and open terminal, which is going to be in utilities. So once terminal is open, we get this little window here. What we want to do is we want to create a new script and give it a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the VI text editor in terminal. So we're going to type VI and then we're going to type the name that we want. So we'll say run now. So we'll click that to run the stock updater. So now we're going to click enter and it's going to take us into the VI editor. So now we're in the VI editor. In order to edit, we need to press I to get into insert mode. You can see down in the bottom left corner, it changed to insert. So now what we want to do is we want to specify where our stock updater is going to be. For now, we're just going to stick to the desktop. So we're going to say current directory by typing CD. And we're going to say desktop. So that's going to take us to the desktop where our files are going to be. If you want to have all of this in a specific folder, you can create a folder on your desktop. Say we'll call it quote update. And that will bring us into the quote update folder. So let's go ahead and do that so we can keep everything organized. So now we're basically telling the computer we are in desktop slash quote update in this folder here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write a little endless loop that's going to keep running as long as this program is open. So we're going to say while true, and true is going to always be true, we're going to do curl dash o. So what we're doing here is we're telling this program to create a file called quotes.txt and save it into the current directory, which we specified up here as desktop slash quote update. So it's going to create a file called quotes.txt and save it into there. And in quotes.txt, we want to import the data from Yahoo. So we're going to say http colon slash slash download.finance.yahoo.com slash d slash quotes dot csv question mark s equals and now after the equal sign we're going to put in all of the ticker symbols that we want to use so I'm just going to go ahead and do Google and Apple once we put those in we're going to do an and sign F equals and then here we want to specify what information we want so I'll provide this picture in the description of the video but you also have it right here. So these are all the symbols of what we want to use. And you want to make sure you put everything in in the order you want to use it. So Google would be provided first, Apple second. We can adjust that in this file and it will output it in the text file in the order that we put it here. Same with our parameters here. So I'm going to go ahead and use S, which is the symbol, and then L1, which is the last trade price. So I'm going to say SL1. So that's going to give us the symbol followed by the last trade price and then I'm going to close it. You can add any more of these. I like to put in, where is it? C1, the change, so that's going to be your monetary change, and P2 is the change in percent. If you want to put them in, you would just put C1, P2. So now that we've typed that line, one thing that I like to do to make sure everything's working properly is I'm going to type an echo. So basically what an echo does is it repeats what you type after it. So I'm going to say updated, so it's going to output updated, and then I'm going to say date. And so it'll output the date and the time that it was last updated. And now here we're going to say sleep, and this is going to sleep however many seconds we want. So let's say we want the quote to update every 5 seconds, which is a lot of updating. I usually do maybe 30 seconds or 60 seconds, but I'll do 5 so we can see it happening. And then finally we want to say done. A quick run through of what this does. Current directory is going to put us in this folder while true, so this is going to execute endlessly until we close the program, we're going to download the information of Google and Apple, we're going to download the symbol, the last trade price, the monetary change, and the percent change. 
we're going to output updated, the time and date it was updated, we're going to pause for five seconds, and then we're going to repeat this whole thing again. And this will keep going until you close. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go out of insert mode, I'm going to press escape, and you'll see down here, insert goes away. Now we're going to hold shift and press colon, and I'm going to say WQ. So that's going to write, basically saving our file, and quit. So now we're out. Now our file, we need to go find it here. And it's saved here into our local directory. I'm going to drag that into quote update. So now in quote update, I have run now. Now if I double click it, it's going to open up in text edit. I can also edit this file in text edit instead of in VI in the terminal. One thing you want to make sure is that all of these little guys are unchecked. Otherwise, when you edit it, it's going to change the font and formatting of this and you're going to get an error. So you can do your editing in text edit as well, but we can't run it in text edit. So what we need to do is we need to go back into terminal and we need to go into the directory that we saved that file into. So I'm going to say CD, we're going to go to desktop slash quote update. So now we're in the quote update folder. If I type ls, it'll show me all the files that are in that folder. We see run now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode of it to an executable. So I'm going to say chmod777 and now I'm going to type the name of the file run now. Enter and now if we go into the quote updated folder you can see this is an executable file. So now that we have an executable all I have to do is double click it. It's going to open up and it's going to update every five seconds and it's going to create this quotes.txt file. If we open up the quotes.txt file you can see all the information we decided to put in here. Now it's Saturday so we're not going to see anything changing but you can see that it's updating every five seconds or so. To stop the updating we're just going to close this window here. So now we have a quotes.txt file that has our quote information in it. You can have a whole list here of all the quotes you want and a lot more information if you choose to input those parameters. Now the way we're going to get this into Excel is a little bit more manual. We're going to have our stock analysis Excel spreadsheet here. We're going to open that up. This one's blank right now. And we're going to choose where we want to input the data to. So let's just put it in L5. What we're going to do is we're going to go to data and we're going to input a text file. Now we're going to go and navigate to our desktop, quote update, quotes.txt, get data, and now we want to delimit this. So we're going to say delimited and say next and after every comma we want it to put it in a new column. So now we'll say next, finish, select where we want to put it, we selected L5, say OK, and now our data is in there. Now when we're using our spreadsheet what we want to do is we want to run this program and you'll see it runs every five seconds or so and we can say hide just let that run in the background and now our quotes file is being updated in the background. So anytime we want to update this quote information just say refresh, select your text file, get data and it will update this information. So let's say I change this to 500. We'll refresh, choose quotes which should have been updated 534 and it will update our information there. So now from here I can create my spreadsheet. So let's say I have 100 shares of Google. So we'll say shares here and we'll say holdings here. So now I can say that that equals my 100 shares times the current price of Google. So now these are my holdings and I can put it in a currency. And now whenever this updates, so we'll say the opening was 500 again and we refresh, so we'll go to data and refresh quotes.txt, it's going to update and give us our current holdings. And now in the background, remember this is updating every 5 seconds or 30 seconds or however many seconds you chose to sleep for and every time you refresh the data it's going to import whatever is in this text file. Now when you're finished editing your Excel, ready to close, just go ahead and quit this file it's going to stop updating in the background. You can quit terminal and quit Excel. Save your work and get ready for next time. Now in order to edit what you did, remember we want to go to this run now file, but if we double click it, it's going to 
execute the file. So we want to open it with, we'll go to other, and we'll say text edit. Now remember you want to make sure none of these boxes are checked in your preferences, otherwise it can mess with the formatting and it won't work properly. You can add quote symbols here by adding a comma and another quote symbol. You can adjust the information by adding any of these parameter codes and you can adjust how long we sleep for. So let's say 30 seconds is a more reasonable amount of time. Save that, run now, and it's going to update every 30 seconds. I'm going to speed up the video here so you can see it. So just a quick run through of everything we did. In the directory, so current directory, desktop slash quote update, we have a file that we edited in VI initially called run now. So you can see this is all the information you need to type in. So copy all this, change your sleep parameter, your information parameters, and your ticker symbols. We save this file into quote updated and it creates our quotes.txt file. We then went to Excel and we selected a cell that we wanted to import this data into. We selected a cell that we wanted to import this data into. We went to text. We selected quotes.txt. We chose delimited on comma. And we say finish. We have our cell selected. OK. And our information is imported.